This here is the product that we're going to be installing today. This is a 8 rock light kit from Mick Tuning. Mick Tuning was nice enough to send this out to me to do a review and install video for you guys. They also sent me two extra pods here in case I need two extra lights. And basically the entire kit is going to come with everything you're going to need to install on your vehicle. All right, went ahead and took everything out of the box. You can see here it comes with the instruction manuals and a wiring diagram to help you with the installation. These are the lights that came with the kit. There's eight of them and you can see it comes with a male plug and a female plug. And all you need to do is just chain them together. It comes with four extension cables so that way you can extend your pods from the rear to the front. Everything ultimately goes to this box here. You can see one string will go here and then the other string will go here. And then on the other side, you'll see there's just a positive and a negative and also the switch to turn it on and off. And it also comes with eight of these mounting pads that you can use. You can see here it has a little recess so you can put the wiring in there, whatever direction you need it to go. Now I'm not going to be using these as I'm not going to be installing them on this, but if you need it to, you can use this. It also comes with these four as well. This is a round one and you would use this if you were putting this on a tube. And also in the kit, it came with this stainless steel hardware that you can use. And we're not going to be using any of this since I don't want to drill any holes in my vehicle. But it's nice that they include this with the kit. And in the extra two light kit, it comes with the two lights itself, just like before. Comes with one extension cable to daisy chain. And it also comes with the hardware and mounting that we're not going to be using. But it's nice to see that it comes with that as well. All right, guys, I got one of the lights here. And normally you would use this mounting pad to mount it. You can see it just goes over like this. It's got some channels in here for the wires, but I'm not really sure how you're going to run the wires when the wires are going up top here. This bottom one maybe will work. Like maybe you can kind of wrap it in there if you decide to use this. Now before you move forward, it might be a good idea to test to make sure all the lights are working. You can see here I've attached five lights to this string on this side and five lights to that string. You may only have four lights on one string. Either case, it's going to be the same thing. And then on one, on one of the sides here, it actually had this plug in there that you're going to want to save since you're going to want to cap off the end. And on this one, you're just going to have a positive and negative. So it's already plugged into my spare battery here. And we're going to go ahead and flip the switch just to make sure all the lights are working. Okay, you can see there all of them are working. So we can move on to installation now. Make it cool. Mick Tuning. 